infamous Acura legend. One of the all-time favorite cars of the 90s. A lot of celebrities, entertainers, all had this car. This was when Acura was in their heyday. This was the pinnacle. This is when they, Honda was building the Acura brand to compete with all the luxury brands. And this is one of the best things they ever put out, the Acura Legend. And I did a video on the Jay-Z Lexus. Jay-Z had one of these too. He had an Acura Legend. Um, I don't know if he had the coupe or the sedan. I think he had the coupe. But I think, I know somebody had a sedan that was a rapper or entertainer. This 92 says it needed coil packs, which is nothing, very minor repair, pretty much a tune-up. This car looked like it sat a while. It has an old um, inspection sticker. But man, these were some nice cars. They were the perfect mixture of um, sports and luxury. A very comfortable ride, but low to the ground. Really competed with like BMW. I would say, you know, 232,000 miles on the dash. This car really competed with like BMW. Like, um, I had two of these personally and I loved it. I mean, it was fast, it was um, comfortable, roomy. Um, they were reliable. The only issue they really had was like the um, head gasket issue. But other than that, I mean, they were super reliable. They all mostly had sunroofs. You know, uh, they had they came with the L model, the LS, and the GS. The first one I had was like a, a L, which had this kind of setup without the um, digital HVAC, and it had only a power seat on the driver's side, and it had the Type 1 engine. If you got the uh, Type if you got the GS, you get the Type 2 engine, a little more horsepower, power seats on both sides, um, digital HVAC, a couple of other little features. They all had like little memory seats on the driver's side. Um, you know, it was luxury, but not over luxury. It wasn't like too many things that could break. Honda was always good with not going overboard with the electronics so that you know you wouldn't have issues like with um you know things breaking and not being able to get in the car or start the car or jump the car like they kept everything pretty simple so it allowed you to um you know not get stuck where you couldn't do simple things if you broke down this one actually is in really good shape look at the back bumper the trunk, all that is nice. Um, yeah, it's, this is this one's the paint is really good. It's really good. It's really in good shape. You know, it's got the wheels on it. Uh, let's see here. Wow, the hood sh shocks work. They actually work too good. <laughs> engine was 3.2 solid piece um, it was generally easy to work on nothing really crazy going on um, as you can see and it's unfortunate like these cars are going to be worth they're worth money now but they're going to be worth some serious money later on this one is really in good shape nobody's really picked off look at the bumper and the fenders and all that you know it's not not bad at all. Man, it's sad that they wasted it. You know, this would be this is a collector's item. <laughs> this would be a real good car for somebody. They they not bad. I mean, roomy trunks. They were they were put together nice. I always liked the back. I thought the back was genius. How they set the back up. Cat eyes. You know, it was man, legends, man. Legends never die. The paint, it's just a waste. This car, this car's not beat up at all. Excellent shape.
look at him again. Look at the dash, everything. That's right. That's what you want. Mm. Hey, I always like the door panels. This was always soft, soft touch, you know. That, that type of stuff really matters. You don't really think about it until you don't have it. So sad. Hopefully everybody get the parts off it and you know, but this car was running. If it just need if it just need a call pack, it's running. <coughs> fog lights. This one, I'm gonna just has fog lights. Oh sad. Alright, baby, bye. See you later. Another sad.